Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a vlog for you and today's vlog is coming to you from Venice. I found a little spot down by the canal to kick the vlog off. I thought I'd show you a classic gondola to start things off. I'm here on holiday. I've come with my partner and also my parents. So I haven't been vlogging too much throughout our holiday but I have grabbed some footage for you. Oh look, there's a gondola just right here. I think we just bumped into the side. Maybe some people are about to get off. So it's all going on. I think there's a bit of a jam going on. When I was at the airport, I asked for recommendations on Instagram. I had a few really brilliant suggestions, a few of which I followed up. So we flew to Marco Polo Airport, which is Venice's main airport. And then we took the water boat, which is the orange line that leaves every 30 minutes into Venice. Oh. Bridge and our Airbnb was just a five minute walk from the Rialto Bridge. So I booked a two bedroom apartment on Airbnb. It had two lovely double bedrooms, a really nice living area and also a kitchen which is really handy if you want to do any cooking. I can't recommend this location enough. It is just five minutes walk from the Rialto Bridge. So it's a really good central spot if you are in Venice and I'll link the um, place that I booked in the description box for you in case you're interested and want to have a look for yourself. And then we did lots of bits of sightseeing. Thank you so much if you left any suggestions, they were really helpful. Sun, 
We headed down to St Mark's Square which was very busy in the daytime. I do recommend going there early in the morning or in the evening as well if you want to take a look without quite so many crowds there. In the evening time you can enjoy the different orchestras that are playing outside various restaurants around the square. They kind of take it in turns to play a different song and so you can kind of wander around the square between them all and it's really lovely. As I say, do go there early in the morning or late at night. I went there at 6.30 a.m. to get some shots for Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram linked in the description box so you can see some of the pictures that I took while I was in Venice. And I'm also going to be doing a blog post on the best Instagram spots in Venice and some tips on how to get um, some good photos if you ever visit as well. It is 7am and I'm out taking Instagram photographs because that is probably the only time that you can do it without loads of tourists being in the shots. So that's why I'm up early today. This is not how Venice usually looks. It's nice and quiet. Just around the corner from St. Mark's Square is the famous Bridge of Sighs. Again, another little Instagram spot that was very busy, lots of tourists on there. So again, I went there really early in the morning to get some photos. And then from near there, you can get the boat across to the San Maguri Monastery, which is where you can go up the bell tower to get a really good view back across over Venice. That was a recommendation. And it's boat number two that you take across the water and it only takes about five minutes to get across. It's 10 euros for a return trip across there or you can get a day pass on the boats for 20 euros as well so just weigh it up depending on how much time you think you'll be spending on the water unfortunately the bell tower was closed on that day so we didn't get to go up and have a view across from the top of the bell tower but you get a really good view across over venice anyway so it was good to go over there and explore they also had some exhibitions on as well so i'll pop in some clips of those so you can see some of the artwork too In terms of eating out, obviously pizza was high on our list and there's loads of pizza places that you can choose from. We found this place that had pizzas starting from seven euros, which I thought was really good value and the pizza was delicious. And then we did a boat trip out to Brano. I've actually done a full vlog on this. So if you want to have a look at that vlog where I go and explore Brano, then I'll link that in the description box for you. But we had a really good day out. A boat across to there costs, I think it's seven euros 50 one way. So you can either buy that and then the same to get back or again you can get a day pass on the boats for 20 euros the boats go back and forth every half an hour and it's the number 12 boat stop that you need to get out there this is another place that does get very busy with tourists again so if you are looking to take photographs or just want it a little bit more chilled i do recommend trying to get out there early in the morning Verano is a fishing village that's famous for its brightly coloured houses. It's said that the fishermen painted their houses these bright colours so they could spot their house while they're out at sea. One thing I'd forgotten about Venice is of course there's literally no cars here. There's also no bikes so the only thing you're going to hear is the engine from any water taxis on the water but other than that it is really quiet. So we're all just doing our own thing this morning so I think I'm just going to pop to have a little look around some of the shops here and then we're going to meet up and all head off to the airport to go home but what I'm going to do now is insert some clips of some other bits and pieces that we saw while we were here. I'm 
a gondola here I think they're around 80 to 100 euros they're quite expensive obviously if there's a group of you that's gonna work out a little bit cheaper Sun's come out I'm back on st. Mark's Square now another recommendation was to go up the tower here as well which we didn't get around to on this trip but that was also um, something that was highly recommended I'm just gonna show you this corner here and I'm gonna insert an Instagram photo so you can compare the difference. So we'll go from this to 6.30 a.m. It is so busy. I don't remember it being this busy the last time I came. Maybe I just didn't come to this sort of area. Yeah, I was only here for like one night, so I guess I just didn't really come here during the day because we went on the boat trip last time. So, yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> Another recommendation was the famous Harry's Bar, which is where the drink, the Bellini, originally came from, or originally was created. We did pop in there, but it was very busy. So there wasn't actually a table available. There was only a couple of seats available at the bar. And I had a quick look at the menu, and the drinks were 22 euros each. I know it's a really special bar, but that is quite a lot for a Bellini, if you ask me. This is the spa that has the incredible roof. I will link the vlog below that shows you that. Up there is where I stayed last time. So if you haven't already seen that vlog, that's where I end up on the balcony. She's literally just had her meal stolen from some pigeons. Wow. This place is really good if you fancy a quick bite. They've got slices of pizza in there and they've also got drinks and coffee. A department store it's called Fondaco de Tedeschi I think <laughs> um, I'll link it if I can find it there's a rooftop here that has a fantastic view over the Grand Canal and the Rialto Bridge so I thought we'd finish the vlog up there There we go, I really hope you enjoyed this little look around Venice with me. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week and do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you. I'm gonna sit down by the water so I thought it'd be peaceful. Literally the noisiest little corner, probably on the entire canal. And actually got up really early one more. Gosh, sorry about that. <laughs> All going on.